as it may be known, there is a particular company of phone that I have a special place in my heart for. Now when it comes to a phone, I want everything from it. And uh, there's a certain type of thing that I get from my phone normally, which uh, this phone I will not be able to do things with. <coughs> I am a blackberry whore, and uh, I had a bonus now. Oh, <laughs> to put into context, for an extra fifty pound, I could have got the Galaxy S8 second hand. But that keyboard, dude, that keyboard. So, welcome to the unboxing of the BlackBerry Key One. My precious. So, the boxes. Now, it is mid-range spec, mid-range specs. There's no denying that. And for the price, which is just below, um, what do you call it, uh, flagship, you are paying a premium price for this. And when this came out, I was like, oh hell no, I'm not paying that kind of price for this. Well, apparently I did, because. Like I said, I am a Blackberry whore, and uh, I haven't got a knife on me, so that's why half the video is going to be me trying to open it. <laughs> I saw of spices on my thumb from dinner. My god, this isn't tight. Come on, you bastard. There is a reason it's called shitty unboxing, by the way. So, unboxing you are in the right the wrong place now this is an unfortunate name blackberry key one because if you cut it out that's a ko knockout and this is blackberry's last designed phone before they hand over the reins to tlc which make alcatel now they have released a couple of blackberry phones over the last year after the priv which was a fucking disaster and they are basically redesigned Alcatel phones, so... Okay... Let's have a look. Okay. I'm gonna zoom out. USB-C cable, I like that, and some semi-decent headphones, I understand, oh, and some different size things as well, so, in here, we have the SIM tool, and the instructions, now these instructions are getting smaller and smaller, I remember with my first Nokia, it's like, dozen things, you know. I just realised there's a bit of fuzz at the bottom there, and I don't know if that's a camera lens or a fucking quick start guide. Now if you want a keyboard on an Android phone, or a phone in general, this is pretty much your only option. And I kind of feel that's what they were going for. And that's fine, because I love me a keyboard. Now, the actual design of the phone. You've got this bag, you've got the same sensor as the Google Pixel, but you don't have the same software, so are you ready? Oh yeah. And... Now I've got to be 
careful with this because in some videos the screen pops off. <laughs> now this is going to be Blackberry Shield, it's going to be the most, um, what do you call it, uh, the most secure phone on Android, which is crap because most of the stuff that you can get on Blackberry comes on Nougat anyway. Keyboard is on the left hand side. Uh, the keyboard, the power key, and you've got convenience key in that. And um, oh, yes, oh, this feels like a premium phone. I might do my very, very first review on this because I've never done one before, but I've always been meaning to. So, if you're interested in that, tell me in the comments. Uh, to be honest, this probably isn't worth £500, but, um, and, but statistically speaking, when I've talked, you know, I change phone a lot, as you may have guessed. Statistically speaking, this is case work. The phones I've always had for the longest are Blackberries. So, I may have this one for more than a month. I hope so, the fucking price I paid. It's got like a TPU case, which will... Protect it a little bit, maybe just a little bit. And, um, it's a 4.5 inch screen, so just slightly smaller than your iPhone. But uh, I am coming from the uh, uh, Samsung Ultra XA, and when you compare the screen sizes here. <laughs> Set up my new precious and then upload this gun. So, uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.